my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another spell for you guys now i'm actually in the process of doing a money spell for a client and before we get into uh any type of working for any client i always make sure to cleanse them and open their path removing any blockages that they may be experiencing specifically when it comes to money now if you have noticed that lately your business has been declining it's been getting slower You've been noticing a lot of people really, you know, noticing you, uh, perhaps sending you the evil eye. Perhaps a lot of people come in and out of your business or have came in and out of your business or if you work from home and a lot of people are continuously always coming in. It is important to maintain that flow of energy. And though when it comes to dealing with clients or when it comes to dealing with the public in general, you don't know the energy that other people are carrying or that may be sending your way. This spell is for you. This is a very powerful spell. It is very easy. You probably have all the ingredients at home. And the results of this is really going to amaze you. Especially if you've been stuck in a rut for quite a while. After doing this, you're going to start to notice that more opportunities start to come your way, that making money becomes much more easier for you. There's less resistance. So again, like I said, this spell is very easy, very effective, and renders amazing results. Of course, as always, my lovelies, go into this, making sure you're grounded, making sure you're focused, and you know exactly what the outcome is, which is to open your pathways to abundance, to success, to the energy of abundance, and to maintain a very perfect, harmonious um, energy in your business, in your home, in your everyday life. So let's get into it. What are the ingredients? You're going to be needing some Palo Santo, as you can see, I've already cleansed my space, I've already cleansed this, but for showing purposes, I will light again. You're gonna be needing your Palo Santo. This is going to be uh, basically to get you tuned in to the energy that you're gonna be calling forth, that you're going to uh, be working with, as well as to vibrate to a very high frequency. You're also going to be needing a white piece of paper, a black marker, a garlic head, some sea salt, doesn't matter the brand, any type of sea salt, a bowl, and some rice. Now, throughout many centuries and many different belief systems, rice is a ingredient that is always used in the fertility or the growth or the abundance uh, that you're trying to draw into your life and garlic has always been known as a protective ingredient as well as a chaotic ingredient depending on what you're using it for for this spell it is to protect you it is to open the paths it is almost a blockbuster type of spell uh, that breaks through those blockages that you may be struggling with when it comes to your finances when it comes to your business when it comes to your home etc so like I said, you probably have all these ingredients, palo santo, a garlic head, black marker, white piece of paper, some sea salt, a bowl, rice, and that is all. Your intention. It is the number one ingredient in everything you do. All right. So before we begin, just a reminder, make sure to light your protective candle. Now, obviously, this work is going to be for you or for those in your home. Uh, you could do this for yourself. You can do this for the people that live in your home. If everyone has been progressively, you know, finances have been progressively declining or it's one expense after the other, you can actually add everyone's name. Um, of course, anyone that is working or has the possibility of making money, you would put them on this white piece of paper. Um, so like I said, it just, you know, you could do it general everyone that lives under your roof, or you can do it for yourself. Because it is a self uh, spell, uh, I always encourage you guys to light your protective candle. Why? Because in situations like this, sometimes 
you go into it without really thinking much about you just feel like life has been difficult you may feel like uh, you've been struggling for a bit and it's just normal because life happens right um, but sometimes you're unaware you're not sure if people are actually sending you things or if they're sending you the evil eye or if there's jealousy and envy around you or if they've purposely gone out of their way uh, to salarte, which is to us, it, it's the evil eye. It's when uh, people send really bad juju so that your finances could start to become very unstable. So this is the reason why protective candles are very important. And it is not just about when doing spell work for other people or towards other people or against other people. You can be doing a simplistic spell for yourself, but like I said, without really knowing if there is in fact other people that have or are connected to what your current situation is. It could be that they went out of their way and did you some type of candle magic, some type of spell work to bring these difficulties. So again, protective candles are always, of course, to protect us, to protect our spiritual, uh, our spiritual triangle, which is our mind, body, and spirit. And also protective candles are to keep you hidden so if people start to experience a backlash in the spell work that they've done let's just say they did something towards you and it starts to go haywire for them they're not going to know that it's you defending or protecting yourself they're not going to be aware of that but if you don't use protective candles then it's easy to scry and find out if you are actually fighting that if you're warding off what they sent to you etc so again this is why i always tell you guys to use protective candles when doing any type of spell work anyways so without <laughs> done with that spiel so you're going to light your protective candle you're going to light your palo santo let's move forward so what you're going to be needing or what you're going to be doing is you're going to be writing down your first name your last and your date of birth all right so it's gonna look like this your first name last name and date of birth now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this white piece of paper make sure it has no lines you're gonna get this white piece of paper and you're gonna rub your hands on it now why do we do this because we want to put our energies into this paper we want to put our energy we want to put our essence into this uh, piece of paper that is it's part of or a tool for the working that you're about to begin so you're going to put your energy towards it by rubbing the piece of paper especially in your hands why because our hands are very much connected to receiving and projecting energy as well as uh, the vehicle or the easiest access uh, vehicle to pull towards us or to banish from us or away from us, whatever it is that we're trying to call or banish. Um, obviously, hands are connected with that of abundance as well. So that's the reason why you're going to be putting your energies in it. What we're doing is we're unlocking our path. We are unlocking our road. We are removing any negative energies that have been sent to us on a conscious or subconscious level. Sometimes people don't necessarily mean bad, um, but they do carry very heavy energy. And the fact that, you know, friends, family members may notice that you start to do good. They may tell you, oh, I'm so happy to hear that you're doing good. And though they may mean it, um, there may be some part of them, some unhealed part of them that feels that they're in competition with you or that they start to experience some type of jealousy, some type of envy. Um, and the more they think about it, the more they're sending that energy to you, whether, like I said, it's consciously or unconsciously. So you're going to rub this piece of paper all over your hands, putting your intention and your energy into this. OK, so once that is done, what you're going to do now is you're going to fold the paper towards you because we're removing these blockages, but we're also drawing in the abundance and the success, okay? Then you're gonna turn it to the right and you're gonna bring it towards you again, okay? Like this. Once this is done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna spit on the piece of paper. Yes, saliva must go into this. Once you do that, I will 
will show you in a bit. You're gonna pour your rice on your bowl. Like this. Really put your energy into this, you guys. Think of it as exactly what the rice represents, which is this little bit, right? This little bit of grains is a lot. And with one, no matter how small it is, with one, you can get a thousand, right? And no matter how small it is, it continues to grow. It continues to flourish. So think of this as a little seed of every single possible opportunity for you for abundance, new ways and new forms of making money, an idea, something that may come to you very unexpectedly, very spontaneously, uh, very spontaneous, sorry, very spontaneously. Um, this could be a thought that turns into a, you know, the thought being the seed that turns into something that if you, as an example, you put it or plant it, it will grow. It will give you fruits. It will multiply. So again, think of it, think, think of the rice as the multitude of possibilities of making money of your doors opening up, no longer experiencing any blockages and fe feeling extremely grateful and extremely blessed for all the opportunities that are on their way to you. Once you do that, you're going to center the garlic right in the middle as such. And let me see, let me move this so you guys can see it better. Then you're going to get your piece of paper with your saliva on it. And you're going to place it right at the center of the garlic. Let me get the real one. Give me one second. As you guys can see, it's a little... You're going to place it inside the garlic head. All right, my lovely. So once you've introduced the paper at the center of the garlic head with your saliva on it, it's going to look like this. Hopefully you guys can see. All right. Let me move it. There you go. You can see it better. All right. So once that is done, now what we're going to do is we're going to get the sea salt. And we're going to put the sea salt on our hand on our hands and we're going to put it on top of the garlic and your name or the information of those that you're trying to open their doors to success abundance growth and prosperity all right let me close this up real quick all right so once that is done what we're going to do now is you're going to put both your put both your hands on the bowl. Give me one second, you guys. All right, so once you're done with that, you're going to place both your hands on top of the bowl and you're going to chant. I now release the blockages that are in my life, whether they were sent my way on a conscious or subconscious level. I call back my power. I remove and create a wall of protection for my mind, body, and spirit. My triangle protection be empowered, be strengthened. I open my mind, my body, and my spirit to receiving the signs, the messages from the universe, from my spirit guides, from my ancestors, bringing to me the opportunity and facilitation of making more money. Let the roads be unblocked, let the doors be open, for I am the key, I am the holder of the key, and I have the power to bring forth abundance 
3 times 3. Once you do this, take a couple of minutes. You will start to feel a very strong and powerful energy in your hands. Now, this is no coincidence. Like I said, this spell is partic it's very powerful, um, though it may seem very simplistic. It is very powerful, you guys. So once you start to feel that energy, that electricity running through your hands all the way to your all over your body, then it is a go. You're going to thank the spirits. I thank my spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. Specifically, San Simón, gracias por estar aquí presente, por darme la fuerza y la potencia para ponerle en este trabajo. Que seas tú que acrevante completamente las ataduras. Bendiciones, abundancia, éxito. Así sea. All right, so once you're done with that, what you're going to say is, like I said, I thank my spirit gets my ancestors and archangels, whatever deity you work with, whatever saint uh, that you're working with, I thank you. Uh, I, I thank you tenfold. I ask you to assist me and be the one to empower the strength and the power in this spell work. In perfect trust and in perfect love, bless be. So once you're done with that, my lovelies, this is the part that is going to be very important. You're going to put this at the entrance of your home, ideally in back of your door where you open the door in that corner. Do not allow anyone to fuck with this. If you have cats, if you have dogs, and you know they're going to get into it, my advice would be to put it in a little table, but it must be in that corner. Now, you're going to leave it there for one whole week, okay? Now, if you don't have cats or dogs or anything like that, keep it on the floor, back of your door, in the entrance. You're going to leave it there for one whole week. After the week is up, as an example, you've done it uh, today, right? A whole week. Then you're going to get it and you're going to toss all of this into the trash and away from your home. Now, listen to what I'm telling you guys. Very important. After the week is up, throw all of its contents, contents on a piece of, uh, not on a piece of paper, sorry, on a trash bag and throw it, toss it away from your home. Why? You may be asking, well, I don't understand. It has my information. Yes. But what we did now is we did an uncrossing. We removed, we lifted anything that you could have been carrying, whether you were aware of it or not, whether people sent something to you or not. And we've opened the doors to abundance and success. But this old version of yourself must be removed from you in order for you to embrace the full materialization of it, okay? So like I said, after the week is up, you're gonna throw everything out. You don't necessarily have to throw the plate or bowl or whatever you're using, just the ingredients. Once you're done with that, you're gonna toss it away from your home, give it, give or take about a day or two days after the work has been completed, you'll start to notice a major difference in your finances, in your money, in your career, um, major transformation here, you guys. And of course, as always, come back, comment, let me know what your experience was. Let me know what your results are. I assure you guys that if you do this with faith and with belief, you're definitely going to see the results of this. Okay. All right, my lovely, sending you guys all my love and light. And until then, we'll see each other soon. Until then, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.